Hi, welcome to the Mila Mechanics. I'm Torsten. And I'm Jan. We will be kicking off the Mila Mechanics with our Mila Joint Play Tester and showing you how to handle it professionally. All right, so let's go. Okay. Inspecting steering and suspension parts is a routine job at any workshop, and it's made a lot easier with the Mylar Joint Play Tester. If you use a lifting platform with a wheel alignment facility, like this one, make sure you don't position the wheels on the turntables, as this could affect the test result. The great thing about the Joint Play Tester, you don't need a lifting platform. You can use it on any stationary vehicle in a compressed state. It also comes in very handy for vehicles which have to be looked at immediately. Apply to the wheel, push it into place and get a result fast. Even customers could do it themselves. Exactly, and diagnosing steering and suspension parts on the spot with a professional tool makes a really good impression on the customer. Instead of producing the usual tire iron. Using the joint play tester is also a great way of checking the suspension under almost real-life conditions, which, of course, is an excellent opportunity for you to spot early signs of wear. All you need to do is adjust the joint play tester to the required wheel diameter. First, make a rough setting by simply inserting the bolt in the corresponding hole. Now that the size is roughly determined, use the hand wheel to get a good grip of the tire. As you can see, the lever stroke is extremely long, which makes it easy to operate. Another benefit of this joint play tester compared to other designs is that it has no other bearings and that the force applied on the lever is transmitted directly to the wheel. To mount the joint play tester on the wheel, I'll demonstrate it with this tire here. Simply place it on top of the wheel like this and push it down into place. There you go. Now all I need to do is rotate the spindle to secure the joint play tester to the wheel. It has never been so easy to check control arm mounts, tie rod ends, ball joints or measure wheel bearing play quickly. When the joint play tester is secured axially like we've done here, you can easily check suspension strut bearings, ball joints and the lower bushings. Now, if Torsten wanted to check control arm mounts and tie rod ends, all he would have to do is position the tester horizontally. It is very easy to feel whether or not a bushing is worn, but obviously difficult to see. So now we'll demonstrate an alternative method which unfortunately, requires two people to make it work. We'll take the unusual step of lifting the platform to take a look at the control arm bushings from underneath the car. Torsten, would you please proceed? It's my pleasure. So, this is our control arm bushing. When Torsten is moving the joint play tester horizontally, you can clearly see the bars moving too. Once you're under car, you can also look out for control arm bars which are already cracked or bushings which are coming loose. There are actually some minor fissures, but they're not a problem at this stage. If they were allowed to spread, however, a wobbling in the steering wheel and unresponsive steering would be the warning signs. Ultimately, what could also happen is that driving safety would no longer be guaranteed when braking. Another benefit of the joint play tester comes into play when it's time for a seasonal tyre changeover. Instead of messing around with unsuitable implements, for example a wood block and hammer, you simply pull the wheel off by the long lever and put it on the ground gently without any risk of damaging the rim. And you have to admit, it looks a lot more professional doing the job with a tool like this, rather than with a wood block and hammer. Check out our website to find the joint play tester, www.myla.com. And this is all from us now. See you again soon. Bye.